Welcome to PPP Loan Forgiveness, how to record in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So, you know, as people are starting to apply for forgiveness for the PPP loan, there's some people that are out there applying for this now. You got to know how to record this in QuickBooks. And so that's what I'm going to show you in this video now. I will say that it's a little bit up in the air as far as how this is going to be treated. So uh, essentially, the SBA Congress came out and said, look, this is going to be, you know, when it's forgiven, you don't have to pay it back. It's not taxable, etc. Then the IRS came out and said, OK, well, if it's not taxed, then the expenses you paid with your PPP loan money are not going to be deductible. So basically, that's a backdoor way. That's a roundabout way of saying this is taxable money. OK, because if you can't deduct the expenses uh, that you incurred with the money you got from your PPP loan, then essentially that just means that your PPP loan money is taxable. Okay, now they have gone back and forth and there is uh, some talk in Congress about rolling that back and making this truly non-taxable money and letting you deduct those expenses, essentially double dipping. Uh, it's still up in the air. So what I'm going to do is show you in this video at least how to move your PPP loan uh, from a liability in QuickBooks over to an other income account, okay? And this way it's just kind of held there for now. And then once we know uh, whether, you know, these expenses will be, you know, deductible or not deductible, then uh, we'll have some further guidance on that. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, I have my PPP loan in this QuickBooks file set up as a liability, all right? I've got another video on how to do this, but you can see here in my chart of accounts, I've got a long-term liability set up that says PPP loan. So in this example, I had gotten $60,000. And so now, let me show you what that looks like. On our balance sheet here, you will see that this shows up as a liability, okay? So assuming this full amount is forgiven, we have to take this off the balance sheet and put it over on the profit and loss statement. So we needed to take this out of liabilities. Okay, now a question is going to come up that says, okay, well, what if I only have 50,000 forgiven? Or what if I have 40,000 or some other amount other than the full amount? Well, in that case, you're just going to move the amount forgiven. You're going to follow the same steps I'm going to outline in this video. Uh, you're just going to move that smaller amount, so you'll be left over with a, a little bit of a PPP loan liability that you have to pay back. So, for example, uh, if you got this EIDL grant, that reduces the amount of forgiveness. And so uh, we would reduce this by by $50,000 to show the forgiven amount, and we would still have a PPP loan liability of $10,000. Okay. All right. I know that's a little bit confusing. So any questions, any comments on that, please feel free to leave those below. All right. So now let's get back to the original plan here is we're going to assume that we have this entire $60,000 forgiven. All right. So what we're going to do, uh, we can do this a couple different ways. All right. Now let's go first to our chart of accounts. All right. And I want to look up, we're going to put this under other income. All right, so you can see here, we've got this other income main account. We're gonna make a sub account of other income for the time being. So I'm going to right click, I'm gonna say new, and I am going to say, let's go down here to other and say other income. Okay, hit continue. And I'm not gonna put in a number, but if you have numbering on yours, you by all means you can, okay? So I'm gonna put in PPP loan forgiveness or you can call it a forgiven PPP loan or you know whatever you want to call it just to signify that this is PPP loan forgiveness money all right so basically when we want to put it there to hold it so that we know what to do with it when Congress uh, finally gets their act together and lets us know if this is going to be uh, you know essentially taxable or the expense is non-taxable okay all right, so we're going to make this a sub account of other income and we're going to hit save and close. OK, so now we've got this other income account and we need to move that liability, the PPP loan liability down to 
this other income account uh, PPP loan forgiveness. Okay, so here's what we want to do. You can do this a couple ways. So what we want to do, and this can get a little bit complicated, is we are going to do a journal entry to transfer this from the loan account, the liability account, over to this PPP loan forgiveness account. Okay, now journal entries can get a little bit complicated for people, uh, but I'm going to walk you through how to do it in this situation. Okay, so you're going to go to the company drop down menu, you're going to go to make general journal entries. Okay, so on the date of forgiveness, we're going to assume it's 12 15 2023. What we're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to say PPP loan. Okay, so this is the liability account. All right, so you want to choose that account and you want to debit it for the amount of forgiveness. Okay, now you can type in a memo to specify, okay, what are we doing here? Uh, you don't have to, uh, but if it helps you remember that, then you can do that. Now, next we want to go and get the other income account that we set up, the PPP loan forgiveness, and it will automatically fill in the credit column. Okay, so that's what you want it to do. So you want to debit this liability, which means you're reducing it, and we're going to credit this other income account. Okay, then you hit save and close. We don't have classes. We don't have to worry about that in this example. Okay, so now you'll see if I go up to the liabilities, you'll see that this liability now is zero. And on the chart of accounts, income and expenses do not show up. But if I show you the profit and loss, okay, let me actually pull up a new profit and loss. Okay, profit and loss standard through the 15th, and you can see down here other income $60,000. Okay, now this does not take into account again that this is not taxable or the fact that maybe the expenses won't be deductible. This is just a holding place to get it out of the liabilities into this account until we know and we have further guidance of where to put it. Okay, and if we go back to the balance sheet just to show you an example here you'll see that the PPP loan is gone. All right. Any questions, any comments whatsoever, feel free to leave those below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to answer some questions over there. Uh, you can check out the tutorials. The website is qbuniversity.org.